If I'm not mistaken, y'all, I think this is the Lulabelle. But we're getting ready to go in and see. This is beautiful. I love the porch. I could totally see me doing some sort of steps or deck up to it just like that so people can come in from either way and I love the fact that the wraparound porch has two entrances so now I'm really excited let's go in and see what we got here Title the farmhouse, but this is the Lula Bell. Beautiful. <gasps> Beautiful. All shiplap on this on that wall. Love the beans. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Upgraded drywall. Everything is pure white, but the floors and the beams give it that pure farmhouse look. Beautiful. Let's a lot of natural light in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have your dining area here. Four windows in the dining room. Beautiful. You have columns that separate the living room from the dining room. And the beams, I love how the beams run in the dining room and then pick back up on the other side of the columns here beautiful beautiful let's go over here so we can pan around and you can see the living room and dining room beautiful Look at the huge, huge windows. Three picture windows in the kitchen over the farmhouse sink. You've got shelving on either side of the windows. All the cabinetry is over here. Love the industrial looking hutch over the stove. And you've got butcher block countertops not just on the island but around the perimeter of the kitchen as well all the cabinet spaces space and I love 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 this industrial sink absolutely beautiful now this home has stainless steel and black appliances not just stainless steel stainless steel and black that's the island. I love the island. You've had got outlet on this side, space for two bar stools. You've got store space on this side of the island, as well as the back. Lots of store space, you guys. You have so much storage space in here. Beautiful. Beautiful island. Pantry space here. Beautiful. Look at all the cabinet space. I would run out of things to put in it. You've got the coffer ceiling that has the wood on the inside. And look at the beautiful pendant lights. Beautiful. 
distressed pendant lights. Now off the kitchen, you can go out onto the wraparound porch. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know which way to go, you guys. Oh, I forgot the mason jar pendant lights here. Absolutely beautiful. There's three over the kitchen across the, excuse me, there's three across these windows and then you have two here you also have pendant lights in the ceiling y'all this is beautiful let's see if i can get them so you see the two here you have the three mason jars there and then you have pendant lights in the ceiling two on this side and then two on the far side Beautiful. Now you have a butler's pantry off the kitchen that gives you more cabinet space. You have the butcher block counter there and then you have two open shelving units here. And then you walk into the utility room got a beautiful wooden door there washer and dryer goes there and you guys look at all of this space over here look at there for whatever you want mud room pantry area sitting area just whatever you want beautiful beautiful Beautiful. This is my favorite house, y'all. My absolutely favorite house. I couldn't afford this one. <laughs> but this is one of the my favorite houses. Let's go take a look on the other side. You have a desk area here. You don't have to get an office unless you just want one. This could be your bill area. Your kids could do their homework here. This could be your little home office. Whatever you like. Bedroom number one here. Y'all, it's something about the light coming in from the windows. I lose focus every time I'm near the window. So, this is what, how much space you have in this bedroom. You have a clo small closet in here. They do go a little deep, but it's not a walk-in closet. <sighs> You've got the second bathroom here. This has a garden tub and shower. You've got linen closets or linen shelving you've got a nice sink here and mirror in your second bathroom and it's a nice size okay and then this is bedroom number two so this is a three bedroom two bath this has a bigger closet this is a walk-in closet so the baby gets the other room and your big child gets this room. <laughs> or the guests get the small closet and your child gets that one. Right? Y'all ready to go into the master bath? Let's take a look. You got a barn door going into the bathroom. Oh, this bedroom is absolutely huge. It is beautiful. You have two peep windows over your headboard. 
This is beautiful, you guys. Big picture window over there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I see why they put a bed in here. You got to see what it's going to look like. Beautiful. You can put a bench under the window. Beautiful. And then you've got a walk-in closet. Right? Big enough for me. Beautiful. And again, you've got a barn door that goes into the master bath. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I wanna, this is beautiful. So you can close the barn doors. Take a peep in here. <gasps> so I've seen this online, you guys, but it's more beautiful than I imagined. His and her linen area, all of the cabinet space, butcher block countertops in the bathroom, beautiful, beautiful sinks, love the sinks, industrial mirrors, shiplap, beautiful. You've got this beautiful standalone shower, uh, excuse me, tub. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You've got the big shower, huge shower, like the one in, in the bell. Beautiful. You've got rain shower shower head absolutely beautiful like this is beautiful y'all this is beautiful 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 and you've got a separate area over here where the throne is love it Love it. Love it.